How do we prove polynomial identities? What even is a polynomial identity? What's a polynomial? So here's our first example. We need to prove this polynomial identity. So first of all, what's a polynomial? Well, our official definition for polynomials is stuff with multiple things in it. So for example, here's stuff and it has multiple things. So it's a polynomial. Now, what is a polynomial identity? Well, a polynomial identity basically is just telling you that two polynomials, two different things, are equal to each other. So this thing right here is a polynomial identity. It's saying that a plus b squared is the same as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And this would also mean that if you came across these in some algebra problem or whatever, you could replace them with each other because they're equal. But we need to prove this polynomial identity which seems kind of weird because it seems like, like what, what's the answer? What are we looking for? Well, actually there is no answer. The answer basically is the problem. It's telling you what this is equal to. So proving it basically just means do the work, show your work that shows that these are equal. And the way that we do that is we change one of the sides or sometimes both of the sides to make both sides exactly the same. That'll show that they're equal to each other. So which of these sides do you think we could change the easiest? Well, this side, I don't really know what we would do to change this. It seems kind of complicated. But this side, whenever I see this, something plus something or something minus something in parentheses and it's squared, I can use FOIL. So remember that when something is squared, that means you're just multiplying it by, you're just multiplying it by itself. So A plus B being squared just means that you're doing A plus B times A plus B. And the other side is just going to stay the same throughout all of this. So the first step of FOIL is F, which is first. So we need to multiply the first parts of both of these. A times A is just A squared. Now we need to do outer for O. So the outer parts. In this case, that's A times B, which is just A times B. You can't really multiply those. Then we have I for inner. So we multiply the inner parts. That's B times A, which is b a or in this case we'll call it a b because it's similar to this and then l for last so we multiply the last parts in that case that's the b and the b which is b squared and the other side stays the same and now over here on this side i'm noticing we have a b plus a b we are adding like terms we're adding two parts that have exactly the same letters so this would be like the same thing if you had x plus x x plus x is 2x so we can do the same thing with this even though we have two letters so we're going to have a squared plus ab plus ab is now 2ab, and then b squared. And now you'll notice that this side and this side look exactly the same. So because both sides are exactly the same, that means we have proven this identity. And remember that there's no answer you're looking for. You're just looking to make both sides exactly the same. So once you have, that's it. The problem's done, and you've proven it. All right, here's another example of a polynomial identity that we need to prove. And yes, it looks a lot more complicated than the last one, but you'll actually be using pretty much the same methods. So if you want to try this one for yourself, go ahead and pause the video and do it, and then unpause and see how you did. All right, so for this one, we're just going to expand and simplify what we're able to. So this part here and this part here, there's not much we can do with those. I mean, we can probably factor them. But I feel like instead of factoring them, it would be easier and faster if we just did FOIL on these parts. So for example, this part here, x plus 2 squared, that's just x plus 2 times x plus 2. And this will stay the same. And I won't rewrite the other side yet. We're just going to leave that for a little bit. We're going to do this side first. So we need to follow the steps of FOIL. So we're going to have first for F. So that's x times x, which is x squared. Then we have O for outer. So that's x and 2 x times 2 is, well, x times 2, and normally you put the number before the letter, so that'll be 2x. Then we have i, which is inner, so another 2 times x, which is 2x. And then we have 2 times 2 for last, which is 4. So this part still stays, and I'm going to move this over because it's getting in the way. So here I'm seeing that we can combine like terms. So you see we have 2x plus 2x. These both have x here, and they have the same exponent, which is just 1 because there is no exponent. So we can add 2x's and 2x's together to make 4x's. So we're going to have x squared plus 4x, because 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 4. And then, like before, this part will stay the same. And you'll notice that this part here looks exactly like this part here. So this 
means that we're making progress, but this part is still not the same as this part. So what we're going to need to do is do the same thing, FOIL, with this here. So we're going to work on the other side now, and hopefully it will become this. So remember, we're doing FOIL with this, and we need to follow the steps of FOIL. So remember that we're splitting this up because a squared just means you're multiplying it by itself. So this part is going to stay the same. And then x minus 1 squared just means x minus 1 times x minus 1. So we have first for f, x times x is x squared. Then we have outer, so that's the outer ones, x and minus 1. Don't forget the minus signs, right? So minus 1 and times x, well, anything times 1 is itself. So we have just x and then the minus sign stays. So minus x. Then inner, that's going to be the same thing, minus 1 times x. So that's just minus x. And then last, minus 1 times minus 1. 1 times 1 is 1, and then two negatives make a positive. This part is going to stay the same, just like before. And then we have like terms here. We're subtracting an x and then subtracting another x. So in total, we're subtracting two x's. So we're going to have minus 2x plus 1. And now both the left side and the right side look exactly the same, as you can see here. So that means we have successfully proven this polynomial identity. And remember, there's no answer. It's just showing that they're equal. So there you go. You now know how to prove polynomial identities. But there are a lot of other weird things that you can do with polynomials. And one of them is called the remainder theorem, which is basically another way of solving f of x problems. If you want to learn how to do that, you can watch this video right here. And as always, if you have any questions about this video, go ahead and leave it in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer your question. Thanks for watching.